For me, uh, in the new uh, South African dispensation of democracy, this has been the single most important novel uh, that has been written. And it has been written by uh, Njabulu Ndebele, I think one of the foremost intellectuals of our country. And I was very curious when the book published because it had to do with Winnie Mandela, cry of Winnie Mandela. So this book is then about her, one thinks, the cry of Winnie Mandela. But then the writer surprises you at the very first chapter. There is Penelope. And you think, now what? What is this white woman doing in the story of, of Winnie Mandela? Why are white people always in the stories of black people? Shouldn't this be a free, black people is free from white constraints and white frameworks. But also Winnie is not free. Winnie starts, she is being told by four ordinary rural women who suffered their own lives in connection with men. And they have all put their faith in Winnie. Winnie was like them. Winnie then met all these women and, and she says, let's go for a drive. Let's go for a drive and they hire a combi and they pack food and here the four women plus Winnie is driving uh, the big N1 in South Africa. And then Winnie begins to say to them, I refuse to reconcile. She says, I will not be an instrument for validating the politics of reconciliation. For me, reconciliation demands my annihilation. No, you, all of you have to reconcile with me, but with the meaning of me. For my meaning is the endless human search for the right thing to do. And then in an incredible and sweeping end, here is a hitchhiker at the road. And they stop, and here is this white woman, and uh, she asks for a lift. And she gets in, and they begin to talk, and this white woman is Penelope. Yes, and what are you doing, Penelope, here in South Africa on the N1? Well, I'm releasing women from the example that I was supposed to have set of being the faithful wife of an important man. And in that way, the whole crowd drives forward as a being connected, being part of one another, and this white woman set free within an African context where by African woman, by an African writer. I find this a most liberating book to read.